what's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and dude, yesterday the announcement of Omega, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, yeah, the, the names are somewhat complex, you know, considering that we just came from a whole year of talking about X and Y, you know, so, so give me a little bit to get used to that, but um, we got remakes of Gen 3 confirmed, man, and you know, you guys have seen the news all over the place, a ton of videos, a ton of articles, it's everywhere, so I mean, naturally you would expect my reaction to be the same as everyone's. Maybe. I am still just as excited as anyone else, and of course, knowing that my channel does have a lot of dabblings with Pokemon, I'm going to be doing a lot of content in anticipation for Omega... Oh, man, I gotta come up with a shorter name. Can I, can I just call this... Um... Omega Ruby? O-R-A-S? Oris? Anyways, I'm gonna be doing a lot in anticipation for Oris because, you know, that's a, that's horrible. Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna call it that. That shit is kinda, it sounds like a fucking sex technique. But I mean, I'm gonna be doing a lot of shit for this game when I'm um, anticipating its release. And I'm going to be trying to do things that are more turned to my interest. So, remember how with X and Y I bought you guys news all the time? Well, for this, I'm going to be trying to give you guys news, but maybe not as much as I'll be giving you guys, like, little stuff that I find interesting about the game, you know? And one of my biggest interests, as all of you may just know, is the music. Honestly, when it comes to games like this, or games in general, the music is just as important, if not more, than the visuals. Because the music will be what determines how memorable a scene is, or what you think about when you think of that game. And you know, the first thing that we think of when we think of Ruby and Sapphire is trumpets. Trumpets everywhere. Those were the predominant instrument in those games. And so, I can tell you honestly that a lot of the music in Ruby and Sapphire I was kind of like either 100% for it or against it. So, for example, I totally hate the battle theme, like the normal trainer battle theme, but I love the champion theme, you know? So there's a lot of music in Ruby and Sapphire that I either loved or hated. And it was usually just one of those two. I was never really in the middle about too many songs. I hate the battle theme. I love a lot of other themes. So I'm going to be doing a lot of music reviews of the original Ruby and Sapphire in anticipation for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And I'll also be showing you guys any new music remakes that come out for this game. Um, there's this other YouTuber called YouTuber6061 who remakes any of the music in anticipated Pokemon games that's maybe on like a trailer or something. He remakes the music. So I'll be doing music reviews reviews of the remakes that he has since they are pretty much close to the originals if any new music comes out for this game because I mean you may think that it's silly that you know a guy like me a big kid just freaking finds the music like that addicting and like takes it to the heart but you know the music's part of what made this game you know I mean Ruby and Sapphire man some of the most memorable tunes in Pokemon came from that game and so that's what I'm going to be doing for the most part, I'm gonna, of course, I'm, I'm gonna be flooding you guys with news as soon as it comes out as well, too, but I really wanna get in on this music thing. And, you know, so I figured, hey, at the same time, also, you guys can expect Wi-Fi battles, Pokemon Showdown, Minecraft, Attack on Titan, all that other normal stuff that I do, but now we got this to add to the list, you know? And since I do this YouTube thing full time, I'm gonna have a lot of time to dedicate to this. I'm just gonna be trying to make it hot for you dudes, but, all right. Now, if we're going to be talking about the music of Ruby and Sapphire and how it's going to be when it's remade, we first have to talk about the classics. Now, of course, in the comments, you can let me know what you think is going to be a, what you think is a classic from Ruby and Sapphire because you know there's a lot of things that you can consider like really, really classic in that game, considering how old it is and the way that the sounds were in the game. But we're going to let YouTube decide for us today. So I, on the screen right now, you guys will see I'm on YouTube right here. We're just going to simply type in Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, look, already, Remake is at the top of the goddamn list. Like, these dudes ain't playing around, man. It's big news, though. It really is. Um, Now we're going to delete this and put music. So, the first few tracks that pop up technically should be the most popular tracks in the game. Now, of course, here, the, the original soundtrack pops up. The whole soundtrack. You know, that's, a, that's over a two-hour long video right there. We're not going to be able to analyze all that in its entirety. But we can look up one of the most... Oh, look! Damn, people already got music discussions going on and everything. It's going to be great, though, you know? The music is really memorable. The music is one of the best parts of Ruby and Sapphire. But, um, anyways, okay, so here we have the Ruby and Sapphire Elite Four theme. Now, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it went, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is it, then. Do you know how hot this is gonna sound remade? Holy shit. Dude, this theme! Alright. 
You guys already know this theme. You, I mean, this is one of the most classic themes from the game. In fact, the Elite Four theme in um, Ruby and Sapphire, I think, was the first time in Pokemon games that they started using into, like they started using separate music from the gym leaders for the Elite Four. You know, in Gold and Silver and Red and Blue. The Elite Four had the same music as the gym leaders, but in Ruby and Sapphire, it was a totally new theme, which was kind of revolutionary in, in my, to my ass, because, you know, I'm a music theme. But, I mean, this theme goes so hard. Yes, I love it. I love it. Oh, man. This is bringing back so many memories. Oh, yeah, and then in, a, in the Elite Four, you had that Hawaiian girl with the with the pink fly. Oh, she's... She was bad. We go... We... We're gonna see the whole. What was her name? I can't remember her name for the life of me. We're gonna see the Hawaiian girl with X and Y graphics in 3D. And you know what? They better not do that whole thing with that, with just making like a sprite of the Elite Four and you know, not an actual. Because you know, there's two kinds of models in Pokemon X and Y. There was the chibi model used for the overworld, and then in rare scenarios, the actual full design model of a proportionate person when in a battle with them. So I hope they don't cheap out the way they did and just make a static sprite or a static um, artwork image for the Elite Four like they did in X and Y, you know? When you want to battle with them, it's just a static sprite. Because they actually made full um, a body approximate models for Team Flare and all that, but they didn't do it for the Elite Four? Come on, man. I gotta see my Hawaiian chick. I need to stop calling a Hawaiian chick, but I gotta see her in glorious 3D. Masuda, make it happen. Please make it happen, man. This is gonna be amazing. They're just thinking about the visuals, but the music, man. The Elite Four battle theme? It's a classic. I totally forgot about this, to be honest, you know, because it's been a little while. When I played Ruby and Sapphire, I was no more than 15, so I mean, this is this is going to be a throwback, man. Oh no, I was 13! Excuse me, 2003? I was, was my, my age goes with the year, so I was 13. But yeah, man, I can't wait. It's been over a decade. My body is ready, man. My body is definitely ready. But let me know in the comment section what music that you guys are looking forward to hearing remade in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Let me know any more music that you want me to do a little bit of a review on. And hey, man, I'll make it happen for you dudes. I'm, I'm really anxious to hear what Game Freak has to do with these games. So um, I'll talk to you in the next video, man. And actually, in the next video, we'll be looking up some more remixes and some more popular songs. I want to see... I'll, like I said, I want to see some more remixes, you know, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a search for remixes of Ruby and Sapphire, decide which one's the best, and, and you know, just in general, go through this music, this soundtrack, you know, it's amazing, I can't wait to hear some more music from it, YouTuber6061, you do your damn job, man, I'll talk to you dudes in the next one, take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.